everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming to you today with my first challenge in a long time. It feels like it's been a long time. So I wanted to um, do this, actually, not for me, but for my mom. So today is uh, my birthday, so it is kind of my birthday challenge, and it's going to go until my mom's birthday since I'm going to be giving um, the items to her. So let me give you a little <laughs> backstory. My parents have, uh, a couple years ago, bought some land in Kentucky, where my brothers live, and they have started a Christmas tree farm, which, I mean, that's just adorable. So they started a Christmas tree farm, and... Um, in the structure that they've built, it's kind of like a barn. <clears throat> it's going to probably be the main office of the uh, Christmas tree farm when the trees are grown. But my mom puts some trees on display in there. And so each one of my brothers has, you know, their own tree that their family has decorated. And I really wanted to have a shabby chic tree represented in there. So uh, my mom's like, great, like, are you going to make all the ornaments? Because she doesn't want to put up a tree with just a couple ornaments. <laughs> and I was like, wow, like, I don't have time to make a tree's worth of shabby um, ornaments, but I really, really want there to be one this year. So I am coming to you for help. I thought together we could make some ornaments for my mom's, um, my mom and dad's tree to uh, kind of represent uh, shabby chic, and I'm really excited about it. So what I'm asking you to do is to create fabric ornaments, and the reason for that is that they are going to be easier to store and less fragile and better to be on display that, you know, where it might become like a public place where people are walking through. So I am asking you to create some, um, one fabric ornament. And, you know, it needs to be kind of small. I mean, I wouldn't make it bigger than that because, you know, it's going to be hanging on a branch on the tree. So it's going to need this one right here that I created is about four inches long and I I don't think probably you should go longer than four inches um, this one here is about three and a half wide this one I created just on a doily um, that's about three inches in deep diameter but they could really be any shape you want like I have a video a couple videos back and I'll go ahead and link it in the i cards here where I made some um, some fabric ornaments so if you need another you know example I have that for you so this one I just created using two doilies and I did hand sew all the bits on this and I used uh, a printable on both of these from Shabby Art Boutique and I'll put the link to her blog below I love her printables they are just my kind of shabby but I did hand sew everything on here, but you, you don't have to do that. There's no problem with you gluing your your bits on. I mean, it's not like they're going to be laundered. She's going to be hanging them on a Christmas tree. So feel free. Feel free to glue them. The only thing I will ask of you is make sure there's a hanger. And please put on the back your name and where you're from. Because I think that would be really nice for my mom to see oh look Amy Love made this oh and she's from Maine you know that type of thing it'll be fun and I think that will also be fun for the people who are coming through the Christmas tree farm uh, later to see from you know all over the place where these beautiful ornaments have come from so that's what I'm, I'm actually asking you to make two ornaments the challenge is to make two ornaments because here's what I want to do you send me two ornaments. I'm going to take one ornament and give it to my mom. And then I'm going to take the other ornament and I am going to fill this bag that I created um, using Tilda Fabrics and another printable from Shabby Art Boutique. And I am going to fill this bag with one of the two ornaments you send. And then this is going to be the prize, the challenge giveaway prize. So you will get this handmade bag by me, made with Tilda Fabrics, and it will be filled with ornaments 
made by all our crafty friends. I just think that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So if you happen to make a third one, I'll keep it, but it's absolutely not necessary. Just two, one for my mom, one for the prize. But what I will do is if you are the prize winner, I am gonna take out the ornament that you made that's in here and I'm gonna keep that one for myself. <laughs> So I can have a little uh, remembrance of this challenge hanging on my own tree. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. I hope that you will jump in. Of course, it's open to international. I'm just asking that you be a subscriber to my channel and you must be at least 18 to participate. My address is below. This challenge is going to run from my birthday today, which is September 5th. I am 51 today and it's gonna run until my mom's birthday, which is November 1st. So that gives you two months, basically, to create two fabric ornaments and then get them in the mail to me. Um, if I get more than 10 entries, I will add more prizes as we, you know, as the challenge grows, we'll just see where we get. But for right now, the prize is this uh, beautiful handmade bag. Well, you know. Fair. That are pretty. It's like a drawstring bag. It's so cute, and um, it will be filled with ornaments that our our friends make and share. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'd love to know what you think, and you know, let me know if you're gonna participate. Uh, video responses are always welcome. I'm not gonna do like an extra point system. It's just if you send in two ornaments, you're in the prize drawing, and that's how we're gonna go. You know, because a lot of people don't make videos and I don't want to leave anybody out because I'm just, I think this is just going to be a fun thing to do. So I hope you will consider participating. If you have any questions, just reach out. You can, uh, my email is below or you can message me on Facebook. And I look forward to seeing your entries. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.